Hello everyone on YouTube, this is JR with JR Store 215 on eBay. In today's video, I wanted to go over eBay accounting. I just wanted to talk about this spreadsheet so you can learn how to keep track of all your financials in your eBay business. And this is really important because you're going to want to know um, at the end of the year what your total profit was. And that's very important uh, when tax time comes. You're going to want to know what your profit was. And um, it's just a great way of keeping track of your business. So let's dive right into this spreadsheet and talk about how to create um, a simple eBay spreadsheet. So first off, I have typed in in cell A1, year 2015. And I've also saved this file as eBay data 2015. And that's just so I can keep track of what year this uh, spreadsheet is for. Now in the second row here, I've typed in the headings for my table. As you can see, I've typed in the date purchased, the description of the item, the amount that I paid for the item, the sold price, the shipping paid by the buyer, the actual cost of the shipping that I paid, and then the next few columns I have the fees. I have the eBay fee, the PayPal fee and the total profit for the item. So when I'm outsourcing items, what I do is I come home and I catalog my items. So for example, say I've purchased this Men's Banana Republic Zip Up Blue Sweater. I come here and I type in the date purchase, which is December 7, 2013. I type in the description of the item, and I also type in the amount that I paid for the item. Now you've noticed, you'll probably notice here that um, some of the cells are white and some are green. Now the reason for that is because the green cells are the sold items. When I sell an item, I go ahead, I type in all this information, and then I make the cells green. It's just, it just makes it easier for me to see uh, visually which items have sold and which have not. Now let's just go over this and um, I'll just do an example of uh, what I do when uh, I've sold an item. So let's say this Men's Banana Republic Zip Up Blue Sweater has sold. Um, I come here and I type in the selling price. So let's say that this item sold for $29.99. I go ahead and type that in. And then here I'm going to want to type in the shipping paid by the buyer. In this case it was $5.70. And then in this column, I'm going to type in the actual cost that I paid to UPS, USPS to uh, ship this item. And in this case, it was also $5.70. So I type that in. Then here, what's great about this spreadsheet is it automatically has calculated for me the eBay fee and the PayPal fee. Now, how has it done that? Well, because I've put in uh, formulas in both of these columns. For the eBay fee, it's 10% uh, of the selling price plus 10% of the shipping paid by the buyer. So the formula is D3, which is the selling price, times 0.1 plus E3, which is the shipping paid by the buyer, times 0.1. And so that, has, that cell's automatically been populated with $3.57. Now for the PayPal fee, that is also been automatically populated because I've put in a formula for the PayPal fee which is 0 0.029 or 2.9 percent times the sold price plus the shipping paid by the buyer plus 30 cents. Now um, these are the fees in my case. Your case may be different depending on whether you have an eBay store or not. So you just need to determine what your eBay fees are and your PayPal fees and put in an appropriate uh, formula for your particular situation. Now if I scroll over here, as you can see, the total profit has been calculated for me. Now how did that happen? Well, I have a formula here which um, calculates my profit for this item. So let's go over how that's calculated. Uh, the formula is D3, which is the sold price, plus E3, which is the shipping paid by the buyer, minus the initial cost of the item, which is C3, minus the cost that I paid for shipping, which is F3, minus the eBay fee, which is G3, minus the PayPal fee. So basically, 
the formula for the profit is the selling price minus all of your costs, which is the original cost of the item, like if you purchase the item at an estate sale or garage sale, um, that would be you know the initial cost, and then you subtract also the cost of the shipping uh, and the cost of the, the eBay fee, the PayPal fee, and and so the the plus items or the plus values are the selling the selling price and the shipping paid by the buyer and the minus items are the original cost, the uh, the cost of shipping the item, the eBay fee, and the PayPal fee. So this column is always calculated automatically um, as well as the eBay fee and the PayPal fee and it just saves a lot of time because um, you don't want to have to be um, calculating that every single time on your calculator. So once I've typed in all that information, I come back here and I highlight this green. And so now I know that that item has, has sold. Now what's great about this spreadsheet is at the end of the year, it also calculates what my total profit for the year is. If I scroll down all the way to the bottom, um, I've hidden uh, some rows here just to make it easier, but basically, um, it adds this whole column here which gives me my total profit for the year now keep in mind you also have to subtract any costs so for example you want to subtract your your mileage and your material costs like your uh, bubble wrap your tape um, whatever material costs you have and then that's going to give you your total profit for the year so this spreadsheet it's it's worked out really well for me um, I also have here a, a sum of the total uh, uh, payments that I've made for each of my items and then the selling price and it's just a great visual for me to determine um, what my uh, sold items are and just keeping track of everything keeping track of my profit not only on an individual level for each of my items but also the total profit for the year and that really ha helps at the end of the year when it comes to tax time so if you'd like further information go ahead and check out my ebook um, I'm going to put a link in the in the description below. It has more information on how to um, run an eBay business and how to be successful. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll be creating more videos. Hopefully this video has helped, and um, keep an eye on my channel for more informative videos. Take care, and have a great day.